For 500 years, an elite cabal of sun worshippers has propagated this nihilistic, atheistic cosmology unquestioningly believed by the vast majority of the world. We have been taught, contrary to all common sense and experience, that the seemingly motionless flat earth beneath our feet is actually a massive moving ball spinning through space at over 1,000 miles per hour wobbling and tilted 23.5 degrees on its vertical axis, while orbiting the Sun at a blinding 67,000 miles per hour, in concert with the entire solar system spiraling 500,000 miles per hour around the Milky Way and careening across the expanding universe away from the Big Bang at an incredible 670 million miles per hour but that you feel and experience none of it. We have been taught that a mysterious force called gravity, a magical magnetism responsible for keeping everything from falling or flying off the spinning ball Earth, is just strong enough to hold people, oceans and the atmosphere tightly to the surface, but just weak enough to allow bugs, birds and planes to take off with ease. Wolves in sheep's clothing have pulled the wool over our eyes. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale of astronomical proportions. We have been taught a falsehood so gigantic and diabolical that it has blinded us from our own experience and common sense, from seeing the world and the universe as they truly are. Through pseudo-science books and programs, mass media and public education, universities and government propaganda, the world has been systematically brainwashed, slowly indoctrinated over centuries into the unquestioning belief of the greatest lie of all time. Children are taught in their geography books, when too young to apprehend or write the meaning of such things, that the world is a great globe revolving around the sun, and the story is repeated continuously, year by year, till they reach maturity, at which time they generally become so absorbed in other matters as to be indifferent as to whether the teaching be true or not, and as they hear of nobody contradicting it, they presume that it must be the correct thing, if not to believe at least to receive it as a fact. They thus tacitly give their assent to a theory which, if it had first been presented to them at what are called years of discretion, they would at once have rejected. The consequences of evil teaching, whether in religion or in science, are far more disastrous than is generally supposed, especially in a luxurious laissez-faire age like our own. The intellect becomes weakened and the conscience seared. People have been conditioned to have a visceral reaction to any evidence that contradicts the heliocentric model. Such rejection of hard evidence without a fair hearing brings folly and shame. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame unto him. This folly and shame is manifested in devilish philosophies that permeate society. The deception of a spherical, spinning Earth is the foundation for Darwinian evolution, Freudian psychoanalysis and Marxist communism. Indeed, the progressive emergence of the sodomite subculture into a government-protected privileged class is the direct result of the prevailing theory of heliocentrism which the Sun at the center of a solar system. How so, you ask? It is quite simple. To remove the Earth as the center of God's creation and accept in its place an Earth that is just one of millions of wandering planets in the universe removes man as God's unique creation, made in his image. Once the centrality of the Earth in God's creation is removed, it is only a small half-step further to remove the existence of God himself from the minds of men. Once God is removed from man's consciousness, then also is removed the authority of God's word and his law. 
man is then enthroned, being a law unto himself. The common thread running through heliocentricity, evolution, psychology and communism is that there is no God. Indeed, atheism is logically a necessary element for each of those man-made philosophies to stand.